Awesome. Let's move to Maureen tonight. Can I have you share your story? Hi. So um, a little background story. I um, I opened up my in-person preschool slash daycare in 2016. And then I, um, I had an after school program and date night care and things like that. And I closed in December 2019 to move to um, Elk Grove, California, which was uh, an hour and a half away. Um, and so I moved in January. And by the time I got everything packed up, got everything from the business transferred and everything, I was about to go to licensing to open up in person. Um, but that was like the same time that um, Governor Newsom put placed a lockdown. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Not <fine>. doing that. <laughs> So um, my kids came home from school. They had to stay home. And so um, so that was tricky. I put them first. And then I, um, in the, my oldest son was doing okay with um, spring distance learning. So I figured everything was going to be well in the fall. And my youngest was already used to being in my preschool um, with me. So I figured he would be fine too. Well, um, so I decided to open up um, online. And so I trans I actually decided to do that the Monday after the 4th of July. So I just had three weeks to transfer everything online. I had no <laughs> idea how much time um, it would take. Um, I just put the important things first and then everything else I kind of just did when I could. I didn't tell parents, you know, what the, the preschool was um, like in person and what it's going to be like in the future because I didn't want to put like that kind of pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. um, one of the benefits of being our own boss is that, you know, uh, we don't have to follow other people's standards, right? So, um, so I, so I did that. And um, I was, I guess, I have, I set like really high standards and bars for myself. And so um, I was working like 60 hours a week, putting everything online, because I wanted to because it was fun, because I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, it wasn't necessary, but I loved it. Yeah. So, um, so by October, six months ago, I was exhausted. I was just so exhausted because I had my oldest son needs a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. Mm -hmm. So I was going to bed like at two in the morning, like one in the morning, because I just, I had a lot to do. So, mm -hmm. um, so I was so exhausted. Uh, that's where I was six months ago. And then um, I found you towards the end of December. And then um, I joined All Stars in January. And uh, and so that was a big relief for me because I was like, oh, here's Joy, you know, she went through a very similar situation as me with, um, you know, a lot of trials and errors and, you know, um, just having a lot of struggles, um, you know, trying different things. And I'm like, well, she's really successful. So I better do what successful people do and learn from her. <laughs> And so it was peace of mind for me, really, because for many years, I was just winging it, trying all these different things, trying different types of advertising. Um, I decided to try every form of advertising to see what worked. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. And it was a headache. And my husband kept complaining about the money I was spending. I'm like, well, I have to see what works. It takes money to make money. Um, but I was doing it in the wrong ways. And I'm like, OK, well, here's Joy. She's done. She's done it. Um, she's like an expert in the in the area. So I'm. I'm. It makes sense to to follow Joy. So um, so I joined All Stars uh, because I wanted the. Um, I, I really love your Monday lives. I learned so much from it. And not only that, but it's inspiring. All of your trainings and everything from preschool in the box, just everything. It's um, educational, but also inspiring. I'm creative, so I take. Um, things from you and then like so this right here was from what I learned from you it's um you said to have like the preschool wall but I decided to have like a green screen and then do do it this way and yep. this is actually the kind of stuff I had in person printed out so um so I just screenshot it and I put it together on Canva and I wouldn't have known about Canva if it wasn't for you so thank you <laughs> you're and, welcome uh, yeah and what I love about all stars is the support the community I used to ask my husband questions about the business. So I figured, you know, he was always complaining about how much money I spent um, in the wrong things like Yelp ads and Google ads. And it's like so expensive. Yeah. Um, and it didn't work because people would call me for a job. I'm like, did I seriously just pay 10 bucks for somebody to ask me if I had an opening? 
Yeah. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and so, and I didn't know if other um, preschools would just click on my ad to get me to spend money. I don't know. Who knows? Right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I was wondering why people were calling me, but I was paying so much money for all these clicks. I'm like, something's fishy. Right. I can't find out what, what the issue was, but mm. that's, that's technology. But anyway, so, um, so yeah, with all stars, I get the support I need. Oh yeah. Back to what I was saying. So I would ask my husband, you know, for his advice because he would complain and he would get really frustrated saying, well, he doesn't know. He doesn't want to work in this field. That's why he's in, he works in auto transport. He doesn't want to do this type of thing. Yeah. Like, Who am I supposed to ask? I can't <laughs> ask my, um, my preschool friends because you know, what if they don't tell me the right thing? Like, I don't know. Mm. So, you know, who knows? You know, if they live kind of close by and they're kind of my competition too, like what kind of advice would they give me? I have no idea. So, and I was in a daycare provider group, but same thing, just because it doesn't mean that they'll have the same things as me, you know? So I don't, I just didn't know if I could trust it or not. So, but being an all-stars, I have that support. I have someone to ask questions to. And um, I figured that, you know, if somebody else is going through something, I mean, if I'm if I put like up a concern or a question or something like that, chances are somebody else has kind of walked through those shoes or somebody has some resources or something like that. So my oldest son has ADHD. And last month or so, I was just like, you know, what? I'm really overwhelmed with everything. I'm like, I need to get him help so I can have time to work on my business. I figured I had to get that sorted out first. Right. So I was doing the 30 day challenge and then I joined the hub. And then my son really needed me. I'm like, okay, I'm just one person. How do I manage all of this? So I figured I have to get him help first and then I can have free up some of my time to do what I need to do. And so I posted that post up and then um, Beth came in because I figured there's gotta be some other mom who's struggling like me with time and everything. So Beth came in and, um, and yeah, now I'm getting him so much help and support and uh, we had doctor appointments coming up. And so it's just none of this would have happened if it wasn't for all stars. I would have been so stressed, you know, with no options, with nowhere to go. And I wouldn't know what to do. And the thing is, is that maybe back in January, I didn't know if I needed all stars or not. But that's the thing. Like, we never know when we'll need something until we do. Mm. So that's I from being in this business for a few years, I know that's, you know, situations pop up randomly. Um, we don't always we can't always predict what's going to happen, especially when it comes to parents. And so I knew that, you know, based on the history that I would probably be stuck with something at some point. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew that I had to join All Stars. I just knew. And I'm so glad I did because now my life is getting so much better. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I love that. So you've got, um, you went ahead and jumped in in January. Now, what about your, your online preschool? So have you started it? Do you have some students enrolled? Yeah. So, um, I opened it in August. And so what I did was, oh, I told, yeah. Um, yeah. So I only had, I, op I decided to open it the Monday after the 4th of July. And then I opened it August 3rd, the yeah. same day that my kids started distance learning. Gotcha. Which, looking back, it was not a good idea <laughs> um, because the district changed the way they did distance learning and it was not a good fit for my kids. Right. It was, it'll be like a hit, like a memory I will never forget. Oh. But uh, yeah, it was very challenging to say the least. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I forgot what I was saying. No, you're fine. So we, you started in, in August. Sorry, I forgot because yeah. you kind of snuck in in January. We did a little early bird kind of soft open. You kind of snuck right in in January. Normally we're closed October to April. You just snuck in real fast. Uh, so with the um, August, you got your preschool started and stuff like that. What resources helped you like in All Stars to be able to like, you know, increase enrollment or things like that, like so that now, you know, you've got some traction underneath you. So um, with All Stars, definitely the feeling of support. So the feeling of support really boosted up my confidence online. So I feel kind of nervous around other parents. And even though I don't see them on screen, I feel like that there's 
but <laughs> standing off to the side watching me. It probably doesn't seem like this, but I just kind of picture them with binoculars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, big brother, like I'm being watched. And yeah. so it's it's a little bit nerve wracking. So, mm -hmm. but um, being an all stars makes me feel like that. I have like a team of people to feel more like supported and secure. And so, yeah. That's I, awesome. get to, I still get to be my own boss, but I have like that support of like being in a team kind of. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on everything. What is your big compelling future? What are you working toward? Um, so right now, uh, so in the fall, um, I'm going to be doing like, you know, the teaching time and preschool pals type of thing. Um, I didn't do it this school year just because I want, I had to keep things consistent for my families. Mm -hmm. I figure changing things up could cause children to feel insecure. Parents could be like losing trust. Like what the heck are you doing? So um, <laughs> don't you know what to do? Yeah. So I have to keep it consistent. So next year um, I'm going to keep doing the, the things that I'm doing now, plus doing the teaching time and the preschool pals. And so in the fall, um, well, in person, my, uh, my philosophy was um, having a mostly child-directed um, program with boundaries. And so um, with online, it's a little tricky because it's kind of like at a set time. So next school year, I'm going to have, um, I, I'm actually calling it recess so that, that way parents can understand what like the preschool pals actually is. I'm actually going to be calling it recess and huh. study hall. So there's going to be study oh. hall where I get, because everybody knows what that is, right? Yeah, study yeah. Hall, I get to um, help children one-on-one -on -one, and they get to like socialize at the same time. And then recess is going to be in a breakout room where oh. children can socialize. So I'll just pause. Maureen, you just said something there that I've never thought of before. Like, I hope every single 45 amount of people on here, a breakout room for the preschoolers? Why have we not thought? That is freaking genius. Tell us more. I'm like, I'm my mind, you know how like uh, two weeks ago, we found out about Sharonda's uh, fundraising strategy, right? I was like freaking out about that because I know the potential. Like breakout rooms for preschoolers. I never even thought about that. Oh my gosh, like I'm getting so excited. Okay, tell me yeah, more. I was really excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm still very excited because um, so what we, what I did, uh, what I'm doing this year is that, um, children have the Facebook messenger kids. So that way they can socialize with each other outside of class and have yeah. virtual play dates. And it's as oh. close to as in person as possible. They bring out their toys and they send me screenshots of it. So they really actually make best friends with each other online, which is really cool. So, yeah. um, but when I'm doing my, uh, but this year I have a circle time, they want to do more socializing. But it's tricky because other students might not want to sit there and watch other children socialize. They want to do something or maybe they want to talk to somebody else. So I'm like, yeah. so I was thinking, like, how can I make this work? How can I make it as close to in person as possible? So yeah. I said, you know what? Um, let's have like a um, study hall where I can pull children out one by one. We can do brain quest and do some personalized learning there while other children are either like working on worksheets or whatever or they can socialize in a in recess, which is in a breakout room. So I can have different breakout rooms depending on what they're doing. And I can just pop in and say, hey, um, who's ready to play Brain Quest? And so it's a very close to in person. Uh, the challenge is that um, parents are asking me, well, how does it work? And I'm like, how can I put this in words? Because you know, you all teach, right? We all have like a, um, a method which we teach. Now, how do we put that into words? Goodness, I don't know. <laughs> But I let them know, um, I said, well, I have a chart and then I go from child to child. And at the end of the year, it's all um, evened out to be average. Everyone gets the average set of time. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that's how I explain it to them. But like, how do I explain them the technicals? I'm not sure why they want to know the technicals, but anyway. I, would, I wouldn't even worry about like the set amount of time equals the same number. I would just say every child gets the same amount of one-on-one -on -one time with me over time. Oh, there we go. That's so yeah. simple. I could write that yeah. down. Every, every child gets the same amount of one on time with me over a set period, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. I think that's just like, oh, okay, cool. You know, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. 
Cool. And so depending on how many students are in that study hall or how many students are registered for that program, mm -hmm. um, it's going to depend, um, it will uh, kind of let me know how much time I'm going to allot for that. Yeah. So if there's 10 students, then it's going to be a one hour time frame. Is there, if there's 20 students, then it's going to be two hours. And students can just pop in and out whenever they like. So they can be at home playing with their toys. Their parents can ask, hey, are you ready to do something? Or do you want to yeah. go play with your friends? They can just pop in. So there's no ratio online. So they can just pop in and out. And it's as close to as in person as possible. It's fluid. Students mm -hmm. have, it's child directed. And so I just love it. I'm so excited. It's going to be as close to in person as possible. It's absolutely brilliant because here's the thing, like I can see it actually translated into so many different areas. Like I'm actually getting chills right now. So for instance, I think of my son, right? He's eight year old, he love, he's eight years old, he loves Pokemon. And like back in the day we thought, hey, let's do a, you know, Pokemon club and you and all your buddies. And, and back then we didn't, I didn't even really realize about breakout rooms. Obviously I know what they are now, but like back then I didn't know. And so I was like, okay, well, how would we manage this tournament and all this kind of stuff on Zoom? And I was trying to figure out things, but I'm like, like, for instance, everybody pay attention right now. Like, this is why you come to these things because gold is dropped and Maureen just gave one. The You could do, the ideas are endless right now. So whether you're doing preschool age or whether you're doing older kids too, you could almost do like club type of things that, so you spend an hour managing a, you can even have like, cause you can do X amount of breakout rooms, right? Like uh, mm -hmm. you could do, uh, I don't know, probably 10 different breakout rooms and, and you got four kids in each or something. That's 40 kids, right? And as long as you're popping in and out of the breakout rooms, just kind of like double checking that they're going okay, that there's no craziness or something that, you know, kids are still doing what they're supposed to be doing. You're just, all you're doing for an hour is just double checking. Now I'm talking like old, older kids for like clubs and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But like, Genius! And then those don't really have a cap except for how many times you can go into the breakout rooms. Of course, it depends on the number of kids and you know their age group and all that kind of stuff and their abilities, but that's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so thank you for sharing that. Uh, the last thing I wanted to ask is, um, where do you see yourself like five years from now? Um, I don't really like to think way too far ahead because <laughs> you're like me. <laughs> Because things always happen. I, I always tell myself, well, I'm going to write it in pencil. Yeah, it's yeah. always writing it in pencil. Right. But things never really go as planned, <laughs> ever. So, I mean, I have an idea on where I want to go and where yeah. I would like to be. But whether or not it would pan out, I don't know. And I don't want to make, I don't want to feel like self-defeated or defeated that I didn't reach that. Sure, so, sure. Um, but I do want to see if I can manage having in-person and online mm -hmm. after my children get vaccinated. So I just got my first dose. So I want my children to be vaccinated and then I want to see if I can manage um, in person. Yeah. Um, I have a big house and I don't know if I can manage cleaning it all plus <laughs> everything all together. Yeah. See with online, if things get a little messy, it's right. fine, you know? So, cool. yeah. That's awesome. But I yeah, in five you. years from, sorry. No, go ahead. And five years from now, um, I definitely want to have like in person again. Um, in 10 years, maybe I, I want to have like a, a location out of the home. My husband wants us to live on a farm. And so, uh, which isn't too far away, but I live in the suburb right now. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to make my family happy, but maybe I'll have a a brick and mortar outside of home. So it's exciting. Big dreams and you just keep on track and keep your eyes on the dreams. Guess what? You'll figure out ways to get to those dreams. Yeah. I love that. Well, thank you for being here. I so appreciate that. If you need to yeah. pop off, we understand, but otherwise you're welcome to stay. So <laughs> um, I'm actually going to circle back to Kirsten for a second because I forgot to ask the, the gold question here. Uh, Kirsten, let me unmute you. Um, how has preschool all stars helped you through your journey? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I was the hesitant one. Like, I'm like, I don't need this. I don't need, no, it has been immensely, immeasurably amazing. Like I would not be a fraction of where I am today. Every time I have a question, I think my printer broke down recently. I'm like, guys, <laughs> no. <Yeah>. yeah. <laughs> like everything that you need to know is in the all-stars group. Beth is amazing. <laughs> Who is amazing. 
And it is, I, I was one of those, I decided, I was like, if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this. So I'm going all in. If I don't, I mean, if you don't like it, then you don't like it. You don't have to be in it. Yeah. But I've been in it for, I think a year now. And I have, I will be in it forever. <laughs> like it is <laughs> long worth it. I love that. Thanks again for sharing that. You're awesome. All right, let's go ahead and turn the time over to Ajane. Tell us where you were at six months ago. Well, six months ago, I actually found out about All Stars five months ago. So, right, November. Um, yeah. So during that time, just before finding out about All Stars, I was actually browsing around on the internet. Oh my goodness, I was spent hours just looking for how to start a preschool, and I would just only find. <laughs> daycares everything was daycare and i was like okay yeah. i know there's free schools so where right. is this information and i did that for almost two years ah. <laughs> and okay uh, obviously i have to get better at my seo then because if you can't find me in just two years, two years yeah and oh, it's crazy because uh it's one of the ladies that you worked with um she, I found her information that's probably how i end up um coming across your information it's uh, but gotcha. um, so that was the daycare deal. And I was like, okay, okay whatever. And um, one day I was on the road. We were headed to Chicago. And I was just browsing mm -hmm. Facebook. And I seen the ad. Yeah. So <laughs> I got the book. And nice. um, it was like, obviously, it took a minute to come. So I um, I read the the PDF. I read that yeah. cover to cover the whole, the, the first night I read it. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, okay. So how do I, how am I going to do this? Because I kind of disregarded the whole online thing. I completely disregarded that. Yeah. I'm, I'm more of a hands-on person. So I knew I wanted sure. to do local for sure. And um, so I did that. I read the book. I signed up for the early bird wait list and I kind of forgot about it. Um, and that's, that's kind of where it set at. And it, it was kind of, it's kind of ironic because the day I signed up for the um, all-stars, I actually was telling my fiance, I was like, you know, I, I want to do something. I need to do something. We were so used to um, traveling and getting out. And then with the pandemic happening, yeah. we were in the house. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to do something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go get a job. But I was like, yeah, I'm really not feeling the job. Right? <laughs> it, was, it was just me saying something. And yeah. then he was like, well, he wasn't really on board with that because he doesn't work. He's an entrepreneur. So, of course, he wasn't feeling it. And then I come and I sit back at my desk and I got the email. So <laughs> what? Like, oh, okay. this is open and I'm like, hmm, let me see what this is about. So immediately I signed up and I was like, what did I just sign up for? I messaged you. I don't know if you remember. And I was like, Joy, I signed up because I knew it was all things preschool. But what did I just sign up for? I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. It was, it was kind of crazy. But I knew I wanted to do it. And that was my first time actually seeing anything about how to start a preschool so i didn't mm -hmm. question it um i just i jumped straight in i was like well i guess this is one of the times where i'll jump in and grow my wings on the way down and that's okay. how it happened for me yes everybody pay attention to that jump in grow the wings on the way down guys we're not ready to do anything quite frankly okay we take that step in faith but we gotta work our butt off to make it happen yeah mm -hmm. cool so um so that was that was January. Um, I did I did the challenge. I think I did the thirty day challenge in about fourteen days. Um, uh -huh. I, just, I wanted to go. I wanted to go as fast as possible. So I just I hit the ground running. I did it in fourteen days. I put out my founded family script and oh my goodness, before I could tag anybody, it went crazy. I had people yeah. calling and texting, so I never got a chance to tag anybody in the post. I had uh, twenty students enroll and. Um, it just kind of everything from there is almost like a blur because it just all happened so fast. My first day of class was March 1st. Um, I actually had one of the all stars refer one of their um, clients to me because she wasn't open yet. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know what I don't know what, <laughs> what happened. after that. <laughs> Does it feel like a whirlwind? <laughs> yeah. Does it feel like a whirlwind? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, obviously, I knew I would start a preschool from that, but I didn't know what happened so fast. I didn't know that it was something I can do in thirty days or less. So when I when I um I got started March first, and um I think I it was twenty or twenty one students that I had all together, and um everything everything has been pretty good. I'm always having people refer me. Um. 
it's like, okay, I don't, I don't know what to do at this point because I only want to have, I don't want to have more than 10 kids in a class. So I was like, I don't want to just start another class with just like three kids. I didn't, I didn't know yeah. what to do. I was just like, okay, whatever happens, you know, it just happens. Gotcha. <laughs> the support in the group, whenever I have questions, I always come back to the group. So that, that really helps out a lot. Awesome. Um, so big question for you. So with, um, uh, so what we have is all of a sudden you just ran straight ahead. You did your 30 day challenge in 14 days and here we go. Um, now how many students do you have currently right now? Um, I still have 20 that pay, um, about 10 of them come to class <laughs> every day. Um, I, 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 I have, um, two day class and I have four day classes. Yeah. So, um, a lot of my two day students, they end up switching over to four days instead of two. So that's right. Crazy. And yeah, that they, they awesome. pay tuition, but the kids don't always show up. So I, I don't know how, how you would calculate that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Because I think a lot of times when they start in, they're like, you know, just testing it out and stuff like that mm -hmm. seems they like it. But then every day, seriously, children wake up saying, is it preschool today? That's a very yeah. common thing. The kids wake up, they say that. So when the parent hears it over and over and they have to say no five times, they're like, <laughs> okay, well, let's just bump up the days and then we're happier yeah. more days. So question for you, you mentioned, uh, you know, you're like, well, I only want, you know, X amount of students. So do you want to keep it small? Uh, but you just keep growing your students. Is that kind of the predicament here? You're like, I like it small, but I just keep scaling in numbers and maybe you don't want to scale well yeah i actually of course i want to scale um <laughs> but i don't i didn't want the class sizes to be too big so uh -huh. if I have, like you know two classes a day and i have yeah. 10 students in my first class and 10 students in my second class well it's yes. like okay well now i have one student that want to join or three students that want to join i'm like yes. i don't know if i should start another class just for them or if yeah. i should just kind of throw them in the class um, like my students, they all kind of know each other now. Yeah. Um, they, they like to kind of converse and have a good time. And then you throw somebody else in there and it's like awkward moment. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> and then I don't want the class to get too big. So yeah. I don't know. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Uh, but here's an idea. So guys, supply and demand. Okay. So for instance, like how much are you charging right now? Um, I charge 50 for the two day classes and then a hundred for the four day classes. Girl, well, so raise, your rates. <laughs> raise your rates. Oh yeah. Girl. So yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know when I first got started, I was like, uh, how do I want to do this? But if all of my parents told me to raise my rate, I was like, oh, for sure. <laughs> for mm -hmm. the, you know, the fall I have, um, I've changed my prices. It's going to be I'm thinking 100 for the two day or 105 for the two day classes and then 205 for the four day classes. Um, my classes are hour long. Yeah. And then oh. they, they want me to add preschool. So, <laughs> or they want me to add kindergarten. They're so, an hour long. Oh my gosh. Raise your rates, yeah. child. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like, what was I thinking? No, it's good. It's good. You Here's what you did. You got really good at get, signing up people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you need to raise your rates. And cause you've already obviously kept your parents and everybody's happy. So you're getting really good at keeping people also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you're just going to raise the rate. Right. And you already have the traction in the test. You got to make sure you have a lot of testimonials, right? Uh, so boost up your website or whatever, add some testimonials some screenshots some videos of kids, uh, parents, you know, like what I love too is like, uh, sometimes if you ask parents to like take a picture of their kiddo when they're super happy watching you. So it's almost got like an image of the computer screen, but like the child's face is the one that's in, in frame. Right. Okay. But you can see they're obviously watching something on the computer. Those are super cute for social media because it's like, what's that child watching? Why is the child so <laughs> engaged? Right. And it's like, it's cause it's you, right? Exactly. That's awesome. I'll definitely get the testimonials. Yes, uh, because if we're going to if we're going to boost our rates, you know, uh, then we want to make sure that we show we just always want to make sure we um, always show why we're so amazing and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're fine. Double the rates. And uh, especially for an hour long class, girl, <laughs> you are ready. <laughs> and then I think you can keep those solid two two day two classes. Right. Mm -hmm. And yet you just doubled your income. Yeah. So. All right. Are you going to do a summer program? I'm actually not because I'm I am taking college courses. 
Cool. And then I want to make sure I get everything set up for the upcoming school year. Yeah. The parents, they, they've been driving me crazy about kindergarten. Like their kids are going to kindergarten. They're not ready yeah. to school. So I was yeah. like, if I'm going to add kindergarten, I got to, you know, make sure everything is together. So I'm not going to do any summer classes. Love that. Um, so a couple options for kindergarten. Are you going to do kindergarten? That's the plan. Yeah. Okay. And do you have That's curriculum already figured out or no, not yet? Um, I have your curriculum. And then I yeah. have everything that you recommended. Um, I just ordered the handwriting without tears. Cool. And that's all I have. Okay. So um, you have preschool in a box, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Of course. I, I wouldn't be here without it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Have you looked at the kinder system at all? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I, I looked at the kinder system. I got all the files. Um, cool. I got everything I need from the from the kinder system. So yeah, Love I should be. Okay. Good so, and of course, it comes with kindergarten curriculum, so you can definitely use that. Um, however, if you want another even amazing source, I would definitely recommend you follow Greg Smedley Warren with um, the kindergarten smorgasbord. We're, did you see him in January when we we're doing the podcast yeah. launch? Is that that's cool. the same guy with the um, twenty six or the alpha? What is it called? The alphabet boot camp. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just grab that. So I'll yeah. that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you got that. You're set. You are set. I've, I've been following everything that you've been giving out. So I'm like, I go look at it. I was like, oh yeah, definitely gonna need that. Yep. So, yeah. yep. No, that's awesome. Good. Yeah. His his yeah. stuff is amazing. So and of course he did virtual for all this year until just barely. Um. So oh, I'm super excited for you. Okay. So we're gonna add kindergarten onto it. Next steps for you. Do you have a, uh, you know, even bigger goals than adding on a kindergarten? Um, I definitely open up a local because everybody's trying to get rid of their kids. Like, I guess they're not, <laughs> they're not worried about COVID anymore. So right now, all of my kids are, um, I think I have one that's here um, yeah. in my state and all the rest of them are different states. But everybody nice. here, they, they want a local. So I'm going to yeah. open up a local. And then maybe have local preschool and kindergarten. So we'll see how that works out. I love that. Yes, girl. Okay. Uh, definitely do all that stuff. You're amazing. Uh, what's Greg's last name? Smedley Warren. Greg Smedley Warren. Um, in fact, let me just tag him really quick. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know he had a full curriculum. Um, I think I've even watched a few of his YouTube videos. So I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Yeah, he is awesome. Um, looks like I can't tag in comments at the moment, but that's okay. Anyways, just Facebook him, you know, figure it out. Great. Greg Smedley Warren, he's awesome. The kindergarten smorgasbord.com is, uh, I actually don't know if that's his domain, but that's his business. Anyway, <laughs> you're awesome. Okay, so just to recap really quick, you know, coming in and in just three short months, you know, coming in from literally nothing and having now 20 students enrolled, kindergarten on the heels, uh, <laughs> parents just like clamoring in to get into your school. Um, like, it's awesome. Just so proud of you, you guys are doing awesome. Thank you. Yes. All right. Well, that is the, the round. That's our end of this round. Uh, so Kirsten and Ajane, thank you again for being here. And I'm going to continue on chatting with our amazing um, all-stars and all-stars in training. And you guys have an awesome night. You're welcome to head on your way or join us in the comments or whatever. But <laughs> you guys have been awesome. awesome. Thank you, Joy. All right, we'll see you later. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our Preschool All-Stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting running and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done for you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run and grow your preschool. We've all been there and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there.